Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Remake. I'm Denzel Washington and let's get into this. So, this is, this is basically us at the end of the game. We've just got the kind of final confrontation a bit um, and boss fight to do. Uh, but yeah, uh, be, be cool. Maybe comment below what is let us know what favourite parts of the series, uh, things you like, things you didn't, uh, all kind of feedbacks welcome and very useful uh, get going forward. Um, also, uh, going to be opening up, uh, in fact actually it should already be open on the Facebook and Twitter pages. Uh, a poll to see what I'm going to play next and there's a, there's a few choices for things um, lovely magnum ammo uh, we've got Batman Arkham Asylum uh, what else do we have Sorry folks, my brain has just went completely blank as to what the options are uh, for the the poll. Uh, oh yeah, uh, Batman Arkham Asylum, Uncharted 1, Drake's Fortune, and quite possibly one of my favourite games of all time, uh, being The Last of Us. Or if you've got any other suggestions for games for me to play that you'd like to see. Um, I do fully intend on playing uh, all the games available to me in all of these series. Because uh, I like all of these series. But, yeah. Uh, if you haven't already, go fill those in and hopefully we'll have a bit of a consensus as to what to play next for the next let's play like a little bit of democracy Chris Rebecca I saw you in the in her garden I finally caught up well I'm glad you're okay no more following just stay with me kid that's my plan sir Wesker. So you've come. Chris, you make me proud. But of course you are one of my men. Thanks. Since when, Wesker? I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Since when have they been slipping you a paycheck? I think you're a bit confused. I've always been with Umbrella. The stars were Umbrella's. No, rather, my little piggies. The Tyrant virus leaked, polluting this whole place, and unfortunately, I have to give up my lovely members of stars. You killed them with your own dirty hands! You son of a bitch! No. Oh, yes, dear. Just like this. Rebecca! Don't move. You. I don't think you want to die just yet. I have something that's of some interest to you.
ultimate life form. Tyrant. <laughs> Wesker, you've become senile. Chris, you'll never understand. It's magnificent. Come on, you test tube freak. Yeah, folks, so this is the final boss fight. It's not too difficult, provided you can get Chris to actually... Yeah. One lot of Magnum bullets generally does the trick. Uh, yeah. A wee bit more information, uh, and kind of hinting at future, future titles in the series. So you want to do that? It unlocks the lab, and it also unlocks the extra door uh, in front of Jill or at Jill's cell. <sighs> Poor Rebecca. Rebecca! Chris. It's a good thing you were wearing your bulletproof vest. There's nothing left for us to do here. Let's get moving. Okay. So yeah, that was the tyrant. Uh, let's go grab Jill and uh, get out of here. Maybe we'll try and uh, contact Chicken Heart. Chris? What is it? I found a file in the lab. Apparently, there's still a lot of tyrant virus here. We should blow this whole place up. Right. The show must go on. I'll leave that up to you, Rebecca. I'm on it. I'll start the self destruct system I found a little while ago. It's not like we're out of this yet. I'll see you on the outside. Outside. What a crazy little pyromaniac. But yeah. But there are some some properly strained uh, translations. Oh thanks, Chris. Not so bad. I'm also going to grab this health kit on the way through. Because uh, I would rather use the first aid box, because uh, I think it's just herbs that are in it, than the first aid spray, if I can avoid it. So we'll go down and we'll grab Jill on our way out. See if we can escape in time. Jill, sorry I made you wait. I knew you'd come. Let's get out of here. Yeah. 
as I said, there are, there are some strange translations in this game. Well, to be honest, there's some in pretty much everything translated for Japanese to English, but this game, in fact, the entire series has had some absolute doozies. Let's get going. I don't know why, but that scene always really, really annoys me. I think it's because it's like, you just save them and they run ahead of you and act like they are the ones that are saving the day. It's like, come on, why are you holding everybody up? And I just had to save you from the big bad. See if we can get this final section done in one take. I'm not holding my breath, folks, but because uh, I just have terrible, terrible luck with these kind of things. But that said, there's also more shotgun ammo and health lying about if you need it. Need to go try and find a way to signal Brad in the helicopter. Now you always need to be careful when you come to do this fight, um, especially as Chris. Um, you need to have one free space before you come down here uh, to do this because you need to pick up this fuse. Three minutes to detonation. The self-destruct system's activated. Good work. Brad's up in the helicopter. Those things are coming. I'll take care of them. But Chris, you just get in contact with Brad somehow. Okay. Yeah. Um you need to give free space for the fuse and also when we get up top there's gonna to be some signal flares that we need to pick up and use. So as you can see we're in a three minute timer, which by the time you actually come out of the cutscene bit and actually get upstairs it's like 2 minute 45 I think, or 2.50. Yeah. Well, I do want to pick those up. Now before I actually use them I'm going to open this and use it to put myself to full health. Oh, I see green hairs. I'm now back up to fine. Now we can signal Brad. Chris! You okay? Yeah. Don't go wrong, I don't want them to have killed Jill, but... Ow! That hurt. A lot. Exactly how I wanted this to be going. Ah, uh, remember to keep getting a count of my ammo. Try 
Thank you, Brad. About time. Now, this is where the tyrant tends to get more than just a little bit trolly. First time. Uh, sometimes when you fire that rocket, um, you'll actually smack the first one away, which is not fun. Um, because it, it does the doom, doom, and then that third one, it's him just gonna smacking it away, and it, this, it looks very similar to start with. Um, so figuring out whether or not you've actually killed him is a bit of a pain. Yeah, this is the end trailers. Um, I think I might actually just skip these, uh, just because it, it shows you lots of cutscenes and kind of skips a bit. Ah, that's respectable, I guess. And he saved fourteen, uh, four times, only healed thirteen. That's not too bad at all. Uh, and then under four hours and ten minutes. Which, if you consider the fact that I watched all the cutscenes, it's not too bad a, too bad a result. But yeah, um, as I was saying at the start of the video, um, we've got a poll going to kind of decide what we're going to play next. Uh, so that's Batman, Arkham Asylum, Uncharted, Drake's Fortune and, and The Last of Us. Um, to be honest, if anyone has any other suggestions, I'm more than more than happy to to hear them and see what we can do. But in the meantime, uh, I've been Denzel Washington. This has been Let's Play Resident Evil Remake. Thank you for watching and putting up with me through the, <laughs> the whole series. And I hope you come back for more. Uh, so yeah. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, whatever, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.